Hey everybody, I'm Justin from Utah Air Guns, and today we've got a couple really exciting things to talk about. One is we've got a special guest, the man, the myth, the legend, Donnie FL in the house. So the reason he's here is we're launching the new Crown Sabre Tactical chassis. You've seen this chassis on the Dreamline earlier this year, and it was a huge success there, and it really does change everything about just the way it makes the gun feel compared to the, the factory stock. And now we've got folding stocks on long guns. Hoorah. Adjustable butt pads, everything like this, just like you can get on the impacts. So we've got adjustable butt pads. We've got uh, Arca built into the, into the bottom of this thing. And this rail covers the whole tank. So you can really scoot a bipod uh, out way out in front of the gun so it's a lot more stable. You can also lock it into a tripod like this back here where it's more comfortable where, when you're on a tripod versus on a bench with a bipod. You know, whatever. Whatever you're into, it does it. <laughs> we, also, we, we also have the, the T-slots or N-locks rail right here, yeah. which also makes it very comfortable for offhand shooting. Um, That's true. I think very with the, true. the factory stock, you just have the exposed bottle, right? So whereas yeah. this one, you have a very rigid platform right here to hold it from. Yeah. I'm glad you actually brought that up because that is a main key point on this thing, mm -hmm. is it does cover the whole bottle. So at never at any point you necessarily have to rest on the bottle, um, although the guns are made to handle that. It's nice to have that platform where you can lock it in out here further on the gun. That's just a lot more stable that way. Um, let's talk about the T-slots a little bit. What's yep. some other key reasons we put that there? The key reason you put that there. Yeah, well the key reason is so that you know there's guys who do laser night vision shooting, so they can attach some accessories that can, you know, um, flashlight attachments in these M locks, T slots, um, and any any other things that they can do. Uh, you know, the flashlight, the So you can use M lock or T slots. T slots. Yep. It's freaking it's awesome. Universal. Yep. A lot of people have been asking us uh, after they saw the, the Dreamline um, chassis for these. And they're like, you know, but what about the, the crown crown guys, you know? And we wanted to offer them something, but it took a lot of uh, research and development. Um, Thane and Val, they did a really good job testing it. And guys like Justin, who are field testers, they've been testing it for a couple months now, like four or five months now that we've had this chassis out there. And he, he's just given us feedback and we just transform it to, you know, a perfect shooting chassis for, the, for this uh, gun now. So what they've done is they, we, we've been able to transform air guns into more of a, you know, where you see the, the precision rifles with, with chassis systems now. Uh, being able to incorporate that into a, an air rifle like this is phenomenal mm -hmm. because we're doing a lot of the same type shooting now. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the NRL type shoots, the, the precision rifle courses, and something like this enables us to do that better. Uh, because you can see we lock them into arc rails on the bottom. You've still got the long gun where you know, one thing I've noticed when I'm shooting competition with, let's say, my, my FX Impact, um, one of the stages in the NRL is you shoot on a chair, but the problem is you have to shoot between the chair and the backstop of this folding chair, and sometimes your impact doesn't fit in between that, that chair and the backstop because it's so tall, where the crown is more the traditional rifle shape, um, makes it a little more practical for some of those stages where it's really hard to do with, with a bullpup that's taller this way. So, pretty exciting. And if you're shooting this off the bench, if you're shooting bench rest with the crown, this thing, I mean, you just put the, you know, a, a good bipod on the front or your front rest, lock that in. Um, you've also got this, this built-in bag rider for your rear rest. And there's also another accessory that's coming for this. Yep. That we don't have ready for this video, but <laughs> no. we'll talk about that in the next video. But. There's some pretty cool stuff that you can do with this off the bench. You've got adjustable cheek rises, you've got adjustable length of pull, and you know obviously angles, so if you're shooting freehand, it pretty much covers all the bases for anything you'd want out of a competitive uh, stance of, of shooting. So if you're shooting from a bench or if you're shooting in a precision rifle course, yep. you can do it all. So, so from the, the times you were testing it, what's your favorite part about this in, in a field? Um, two things. One, I can lock it into my Arca, into a bipod like this. Mm -hmm. um, two is this, if I'm shooting this off a bench, off of a, like a good bipod and a, and a rear bag, yep. it is like, 
a rock. It's just yeah. super, super solid. Um, really, really easy to shoot. So, and third, I like having the folding stock. Um, I like being able to just fold that up and put it on the front seat, or if you have to put it in a shorter gun case, you can. Well, I don't use cases this time. <laughs> it rides right on the front seat of my truck, so I need yeah. to be shorter so I can get it out the window faster. But that makes it really handy. I also really like that you incorporated these T-rails. So these guys right here. Um, there's a few things that that's used for, and they were smart because they did this in M-lock or T-lock. So you can you can use all kinds of accessories. Mm -hmm. So um, say you're running IR scope on it, you're hunting a night, you can put your uh, your IR light up here. You can do a laser. You can do um, you can actually you can add weights. If you're shooting Ventress, you can add weights to this. Did I miss anything? Yeah. A flashlight. A, f a flashlight. Yep. Oh, Captain Obvious. You can mount a flashlight to this. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Good thing we have you here. Yep. Flew all the way to Florida to keep me straight in this thing. So <laughs> it's a good thing. All right. What can they expect different from what they see today? Well, this one was one that was uh, made custom for Justin because he was one of our first field testers. So it's blue. Uh, is blue your favorite color? I like it. It is now, right? Like <laughs> Anyways, but the production version is going to be black, kind of like the, the Dreamline chassis. It's going to have a FX rubber grip with it, but you know, you can be like Justin and have a customized skeleton AR grip or, or whatever you like because it will take any, any AR style grip. So whatever you, whatever you feel like. So yeah. again, I'm Justin Jacobson from Utah Air Guns. Donnie from Donnie FL and Sabre Tactical. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming, buddy. It's always good to see you. Um, also, check us out. Check out uh, our videos on YouTube on under Utah Air Guns, our Facebook, Utah Air Guns, Instagram, Utah underscore Air Guns. Donnie, where can we check you out, brother? You can find me on DonnieFL.com and also SabreTacticalInc.com. Here you go. Again, thanks for watching. Look for more uh, on this thing to come.